Now I really specialise in sort of grande and uh, I actually live here as well so I have a vested interest in this area doing well. Um, certainly as far as I can see the, um, the, the market's bottomed out. The last part of 2014 we saw a lot of increase in inquiries and we started to make a lot of sales towards the end of the year. Um, I can see that continuing on, um, particularly in Soto Grande, which is quite a unique location. It's one of the largest um, privately owned res residential estates in southern Spain, um, 20 square kilometres in fact. This area has always been strictly controlled in terms of planning volumes and, and uh, where you can and can't build, um, unlike a lot of the uh, areas in Spain. So to a certain extent it was never overdeveloped, so we never had a surplus of unsold properties. I mean there are unsold properties and property prices were fairly stagnant, but we never, never suffered anything like other parts of the Costa del Sol. Um, also a lot of the owners here are very wealthy owners, some of the wealthiest people in Spain and Northern Europe are second home owners here or primary home owners here. There's lots of facilities for children in the summer here, sailing schools, tennis academies, golf academies. And now we have uh, the Soto Grande International School for the local expat residents who wish to send their children to school locally. We have a, uh, quite a variety of different properties here. Uh, many apartments uh, in the marina which are ideally suited to people in the sailing facility. Um, there's also some very nice luxury apartments on the golf courses in the area as well as the um, family villas and also the large mansions that are in the Costa part of the uh, Soto Grande, the original part, which are now um, 40 years old, um, with very large gardens and plots. We tended to find that the clients that are buying our properties in this area um, often didn't need mortgages, they were second or third homes, and never really got affected too badly by the recession, as, as a lot of people did further down the coastline. Um, you've got extremely good value properties in this area, um, very large plot sizes and constructed areas, so a lot of our clients that bought in previous years um, either borrowed money uh, from the UK on their own properties um, or simply bought with funds which are unencumbered. The buying and selling costs um, in the last few years have increased. The Spanish government uh, decided to increase the transfer tax for resales and on new property increase the VAT to 10%. So uh, in, in a way that hasn't helped our business because it's just made the buying costs, purchasing costs of properties higher than it was before and in, in reality it might have been better to have reduced those costs to encourage um, buyers to invest in Spain. We saw an increase in inquiries um, from about September 2014. Um, a lot of those resulted in sales before the end of the year and I now have appointments uh, right through to March for clients coming over from uh, UK Belgium and France in fact. We've seen a lot of new customers from France for whatever reason in the last few months um, and I can foresee uh, the market continuing on that, on that trend, a slightly upward trend. I don't think it's going to boom again but certainly we are seeing a lot of people now uh, realising that the market's bottomed out and do not want to miss the opportunity to buy their second home or their retirement home in this area. We're actually short of new properties there's not been any new development in this area for uh, many years um, and we could really do with some new projects coming online that we can actually um, start to um, pro um, promote. Uh, so I think initially it's going to be resales and uh, perhaps taking up some of the lower end um, uh, properties or the lower price properties where people um, are in a situation where they want to sell or need to sell. I think those will be sold fairly quickly and we found Already um, this year we've got a lot of inquiries on, the, on properties that have been put on the market at the right price. In other, in other words, price to sell. Mm -hmm.